Hi, my name's Chris Cooper from Norfolk Yacht Agency, and this is a short walkthrough video of this lovely little Crunchy Turchies 24. Um, vessel name is Happy Days. And she's a real clean, tidy little boat. She sat on a mooring outside the owner's house at the moment, and uh, he's had her here for uh, about a year or so. Not really used her in quite the way he thought he would. So she's now up for sale with MYA. And uh, as you can see, she's in pretty good nick. Gel's quite bright and clean. She's a very pretty boat. I mean, there's just no denying it. Really smart looking thing. So I'm gonna just pause the video now and move around at the back of the boat and, uh, and get a little closer so I can show you in the cockpit and, uh, and around the port side. So quick change of position and you can see the stern of the boat and uh, the bathing platform and a boarding ladder there. A little sun pad on the back of the boat. Quite a big horseshoe shaped seat in the cockpit here. And then we've got two forward facing helm and navigator seats. So you'd get several people in there. A sociable boat. Lovely in this kind of scenario where you know, on a house by the river it's a perfect thing to be set outside the door. A view of the foredeck, cuddy cabin there. I'll show you that in just a moment. We've got an anchor hanging underneath the platform there. The boat normally has a tonneau cover on it um, over winter. The tonneau cover is in reasonable condition, um, but you'll notice the uh, canopy irons that are sitting just inside there, and that's for a camper type canopy, um, which again is in very good condition as it's very rarely actually on the boat. See the Desmo table leg fitting there, so there's a small table that sits in the in the horseshoe. Gives you gives you something to put your drinks on. Right, let's hop aboard and I'll show you the interior. So here we are. Inside the crunchy. There's not a massive amount of space in here, but it is a cuddy cabin um, sports boat. So there's never going to be a huge amount of space, but but there is a reasonable area to sit or lounge in um, or sleep in. It's, a, it's, it's only really intended as an overnighter. So we've got a, a fridge just on the port side here, and then we've got some switch gear and, and the all-important stereo because I'm pretty sure that the uh, that the tunes would be on most most occasions and instances. When you're on board this boat, it's definitely a good time boat. And then you've got a porta potty which sits underneath that centre cushion there. So you've got some toilet facilities as well, all important toilet facilities, especially for the ladies. So just give me a moment, I'll pause the video, hop down in there, and I'll show you the um, porta potty and, uh, and just inside the fridge. Okay, so there's the porta potty, and it literally just is a uh, that's just a centre section of, of the cushion that covers it up. So nothing particularly highbrow, but uh, but the important thing is that the facility's there. And uh, just moving round to my left, let me just go back to the fridge. And there we go, little ice ice box in the top there. It's quite clean and presentable. The whole boat is clean and presentable. I mean, it's not without age. I'm just looking at the top of the fridge. I can see some little bits of corrosion on the top of the, on the top of the fridge here. But that's the sort of thing that um, that's the sort of thing that you're seeing on board the boat. It's um, it's actually in really, you know, really good nick. The linings are good in here. The upholstery is good. I'm not entirely sure that the upholstery hasn't been renewed. Actually, the the, when you when you see these, um, generally they uh, they have a green, mint green interior. Let's just get that cushion back down again. Yeah, mint green interior, and uh, and this is all blue. You know, blue in lining, in line carpets, and uh, and the blue sort of ruched trim fabric and and backrests, and uh, so it may well it may well be original, but uh, but it's in very you know very nice condition. So 
there's a helm position. The all important C mark down there. So, dashboard is in good condition. The dials and gauges are in good nick. Um, the uh, must just mention that the hour log is um, is non-functional. It's a very standard Volvo fault. If you've watched um, watched any of our videos before, you'll know that uh, that I often point it out if uh, if that is indeed the case, which it is a lot. Uh, so we've got a little sink in the corner here, got nicely tucked away, a little wet bar with a cold water supply and some nice little touches as well like that. Seats could maybe do with a little bit of a clean but you know, I'm being very picky as it is winter and the boat was you know, under a cover until Know, five minutes ago but all of these seats are in pretty good condition there's the odd little mark in the um, you know in the upholstery here but there's no tears or rips or damage anyway right just give me a moment and, uh, and I'll lift the edge. The winds just starting to pick up here this is storm Dudley coming coming through it's meant to hit uh, it's meant to hit 80 mile an hour winds later so uh, so we won't hang about but as you can see engine bay is pretty clean there's a ski rack there just inside a little bit of water sitting on the starboard side and the sponsors there but I can't really see any let me see anywhere that, where that would have leaked from, so other than uh, maybe the engine engine intakes on the side of the, the side of the boat over winter. But uh, she's winterized at the moment, so the owner the owner's always looked after his boat. She's had he's had several, as you would being in a riverside position. So there we are, yeah, five liter um, GI Volvo Penta. The boat is a 1999, I don't think I said that. Uh, and this is, uh, this is a 225 horsepower V8. We've got a battery charger, we've got trim tabs, we've got uh, an anchor winch. You've seen the port -a I've shown you the uh, cockpit fridge and the, uh, and the sink in the cockpit. Um, you know, there's a tonneau cover. Um, she has a boat safety certificate, which is, uh, which is specific to the inland waterways, but there's a boat safety certificate, which is uh, valid until December, 2023. It means that the fuel system and uh, fuel lines and the battery and the wiring and, and, and what have you have all been inspected by a um, boat safety scheme examiner. So if I just step back from, from the hatch, you'll be able to see how that is arranged. It's just a handle on the top here and gas struts boat hook underneath look i've missed that and that just drops nicely down into that space so there we are a very nice uh, little cuddy cabin sports sports boat Capable of uh, of towing water skiers or toys, and uh, certainly capable of uh, of entertaining you know several people in quite a comfortable cockpit. If you'd like any more information, please give us a call. You'll find the full specification on our website at www.nya.co.uk.